All right, people. So here is the deck profile for the Buster Blader deck that has been on Daily Duels for the last two months. Uh, polls went up. Buster Blader's on there. It didn't give up for a third month, and you know what? I'm totally fine with that because after two months, I, I pretty much got the gist of the deck. It wasn't more just fixing the deck, more just playing it for your guys' entertainment. I, I was pretty much definitively done making the deck, and uh, I'm going to be doing a deck profile of the deck, uh, taking it off, and then, of course, um, at the same time, the video for the deck that I'll be replacing it is up now. It's fucking Nordics. Thank you, guys. I, I really appreciate it. I will try to get some wins in, but holy shit. We're going to be uh, doing something you new and unique starting off with, but if that doesn't work and you guys are like, no, don't do that, do a pure Nordic deck, and I will try. You know, uh, Me and Renny have been working our butts off trying to get this Nordic deck to at least some kind of... Uh, competitiveness, busting out the Nordic monsters, but god damn it, guys, like, you know what, to tell you the truth, I'm thinking about maybe just stopping this whole deck suggestion poll thing, because it doesn't seem, like, I don't know, maybe, maybe you guys really want to see me try, but keep in mind, I'm doing this for you guys, and I'm trying to entertain you guys, like, I think that no matter what I do, it's not going to be entertaining if I'm trying to sit there and play fucking, you know, ice barriers and getting my ass slapped around every single duel. I don't like losing Yu-Gi-Oh! No one likes to lose a duel. But it, it would pretty much become a job at that point. Like, oh, look, it's freaking Wednesday. I guess I'm playing ice barriers. Oh, look, uh, I spent the last 20 or 30 minutes losing every single duel. Gosh, I wish my viewers would suggest a stronger, better deck for me to play. That'd be more entertaining to watch, but no. You know, like, I'm not sure if you guys just really want to see me do it, or you guys are just trolling, but I can't tell, and the point is, is that it just seems like, since we started it off, we've just been going downhill, downhill when it comes to deck for Daily Duel to the point where, you know, I, I, like, I wouldn't even mind at least one meta deck per month, but instead, I just get decks that aren't even remotely good, they get suggested, and I'm just like, nah, that deck's not gonna, like, go ahead, suggest it, I'm trying to be nice, but I seriously doubt that deck's gonna get selected, and then the deck gets selected, and I'm like, fuck me, you know, just like, fuck me, so I'll try, I'll try, you know, and that's not the only deck that, on this month, that's just like, okay, so, anyway, Buster Blader, uh, it's a fun, nice little budget deck, it really is, uh, if you guys wanna go ahead and pick up something, I wouldn't even say it's tier two, I'd say maybe like, three, but it's a nice little fun deck, and go ahead and run down to your locals, and you can put in some work with it, so I'm going to give you guys a deck profile, uh, like I said, it's fairly budget, I, I don't really see too much expensive in here, and uh, hopefully you guys can go ahead and take it, uh, as you can clearly see at the top, Buster Blader 4, uh, it started off with me being like, I have no idea, to trying things out, to uh, getting suggestions, and in the end, I, you know, I took all that I collected rewind over the two, last two months, and I just put it together to uh, a fairly coherent deck, you know, it still has its ups and downs, because you need a handful of both sides of the things to uh, cooperate, but, you know, it's still the best uh, thing that I could come up with for Buster Blader, and you know what, in the end, it, it, I had I enjoyed my time with it. Let's get started, so, uh, we're running the Pendulum Mechanic, and the reason why, so we can special summon them level summons from hand, is pretty much it. But not only that, but also, the monsters that are in the Pendulum Scale are also level 7. So that means that if I happen to open up with multiple of these monsters, and I need to pendulum on them, I have my level 1 tuners, I can go into some sync, sync 8 plays without even having to worry about Buster Blader. So, the deck is not even one trick pony like that. So that's actually pretty good. So, we have 3 Dragon Pit and 3 uh, Yankee Magician. These are our pendulum scales, 8 to 3, which is fine. Uh, we run 1 uh, Wisdom Eye. He recently got hit down to 1 on the April TCG list, and he's been at 1 in the OCG list, so he's at 1, which is fine. Uh, it hurt, but, you know, I simply replaced them with two other cards that just happened to work just as fine. So, we run one Performer Power Skull Crobat Joker. He is also at one, but getting to search for Performer Power Monster or Magician was good. I already ran him for the Magicians, but now, because we're actually running some Performer Powers, he gets in even more work. So, that's good. Uh, and the cards that Leary replaced the two Inside Magicians, we have one Monkey Board and one Odd Eyes Unicorn. So, play Monkey Board, get to search get Unicorn, Pendulum Scales 1 to 8, so there you go, so, uh, Unicorn's not out in the TCG yet, I don't believe, but I believe it's coming out soon, so, if you're planning on taking this deck and making it, uh, budget here in the TCG, I'll wait, I believe it's coming out in, um, in Shining Victory, but, uh, yeah, so, you have to wait on that. Uh, then we have our Buster Bladers, we have three Buster Bladers and three of our Destruction Swordmasters. Uh, why are we doing this? Uh, like I said, we're trying to bust out as much summons as possible, 
uh, but I'm also trying to keep it clean. I need to get these guys as soon as possible to make sure that I can go and tend to someone. I felt that running this guy and running this guy is better than running the actual Buster Player Searcher card because uh, this guy counts as destruction, so we are running the trap, so, <coughs> excuse me, I totally don't mind activating the trap and pitching him, you know, I easily search uh, him through him, and he's level 7, so we have some sacred swords, I was running 3, but I cut down to, to 2, but I was getting kind of cloggy, and it kind of made me want to do it all the time, like, it's like, oh, I, I want to play sacred sword, even though this is not the appropriate time, so, uh, with a lot of things kept me in check, the pendulum mechanic, the sacred sword, the trap card, uh, I totally don't mind running more of this guy and, of course, Buster Blader, so. And with him being counted as Buster Blader while in the graveyard, it does help as well. So, uh, yeah. You could probably, if you want to, cut him down a little bit, but I was like, no, I want to get this guy. I need to get him. You know, because the quicker I get him, the quicker I pull off my plays. Either one of them, pendulum summon them, right? Summon a level 1 tuner, sink. He counts as Buster Blader in the graveyard, so this guy can summon this guy back from the graveyard, which is also fine as well, so. Uh... Just for the fact of the name being Buster Blade and doing all that, that's the important part. Uh, three of the companion, very important card. He's probably the the core monster of the deck. Like you really want to get him. Uh, summon when he's normal summon, add destruction sword card from your hand. So you can add your quick play spell, you can add your trap card, you can add your uh, your uh, sword master, you can add your uh, Buster. So definitely, <coughs> excuse me, an important card to get. And. Uh, you distribute it, especially summon a Buster Blader from your hand or graveyard. He does not count as Buster Blader in the hand, which kind of sucks, but if he's in the graveyard, then you can go ahead and summon him with that. And then, uh, discard in your graveyard and you control a Buster Blader. You can discard a destruction card, special summon from the graveyard. So you only use one of these either or effect, but it's still fine. You know, very helpful. You definitely run triple. Then we run triple of the Buster, Dragon Buster Blade. Uh, this one's also good, especially walking out of the extra deck. Uh, if it's equipped to a Buster Blade, your opponent can't special some cards from the extra deck, which is just great, you know, so it's kind of like a Monarch, uh, pretty much before Monarchs really came out, and TCG kind of locked you, the extra deck was fine. Uh, you can equip it to a Buster Blade, unequip it to a Buster Blade, and then go for a synchro play. So, to summon Buster Blade, equip to Buster Blade, unequip, sync to your uh, Buster Dragon, Buster Dragon, go ahead and summon back Buster Blade, so the plays are definitely there. Run three of the Sage Knight with Eyes of Blue, so this is a Searcher card. Uh, I know it's a blue eyes card, but it actually works with this deck too. So uh, it's not out yet. It's coming out soon in uh, Shining Victory. So there you go. I don't believe it should be too expensive depending on the rarity. So it's trying to keep the deck still budget. Uh, this card is normal summon. You can add one light level one tuner monster from your deck to your hand. So uh, you add your boss monster. Oh, well, not your boss monster, but your main tuner, your go-to tuner, which is great. You can also add effect veiler. So. You know, as soon as you run this, you know, I mean, summon this, add effect veiler, have Buster Blader sing, and then you just get to search for effect veiler to uh, hold off your, your pump's place, that's good too. Uh, like I said, you won't be doing any blue eyes actions, but just the fact that it's a tuner that searches for more tuners, I mean, it works. Then effect veiler. I explained it, but yay, effect veiler. There's really no traps in this deck, so having defensive plays of effect veiler is not bad at all. Then probably one of the more expensive cards in the deck are running triple twin twisters. Uh, Twin Twisters is just a wonderful, great card, and like I said, I'm running most of these cards. I totally don't mind pitching this guy to the graveyard. There's been a handful of times where I'm like, Twin Twister, push this guy to the graveyard. Oh, now he's supposed to play in the graveyard. Summon him, tribute him. Uh, he casts his bus player in the graveyard. There you go, done. So, uh, just the fact that not only is it just Twin Twister pop that back row, but, you know, similar to uh, Forever Epic's, like, man, you use it as a neighbor plays. I mean, hey, hey, not Twin Twister's fault. It's my fault for taking advantage of it. We run. Triple Pendulum Call. Uh, despite Wizard Mind going down to one, we still have Triple Pendulum Call. So, Pendulum Call set up my Pendulum Scale. Simple as that. Very powerful card. Very powerful card. Really surprised I didn't get hit down to one in TCG. Only in the LCG, but, you know, I don't really think that anybody's going to be doing much in the Magician Engine anyway with all the rest of the top decks. So, we run one of our uh, Sword Fusion. Uh, quick play, very great. Uh, uh, I love to go ahead and have a Buster Blade on my field with. Uh, the, f the synchro guy, because all my opponent's monsters count as dragons, which means I can go ahead and uh, pretty much spot fusion my opponent's monsters, because all their monsters are dragons, which means they're the dragon, I have the buster blader, bust out my fusion monster, so it's pretty good. Uh, you can always get this card back from the graveyard by sending one card from your hand to the graveyard, so I have this card back, which means that you really don't need to run multiples. It is a destruction sword, so you can go ahead and discard it for the trap card as well, so that's also great. Uh, two sacred swords. Uh, there's a lot of seven. There, you're seven. You are seven. You are seven. You are seven. So we literally have twelve seven. No, sixteen sevens. I did my math wrong. Sixteen seven, two sacred sword. You know, like I said, three. Like I said, it's too tempting because you still got to keep your place. 
Uh, you're trading your known for your unknown, especially depending on what the 7 is, so sometimes you don't want to do that. So, that's why I said 2. And then Triple of our Trap. There's card, a Destruction Sword uh, card, special summon it with Buster Blader. You can, uh, uh, Buster Blader Monster, I believe that you can summon either or of these guys, I believe. Yeah, because it says Buster Blader Monster, not Buster Blader. So you can summon either or of these guys. Um, you can banish this card from a graveyard to fusion summon one Buster Blader. Uh, fusion guy by banishing. So all you need to do is banish a Buster Blader and a Destruction Sword Dragon guy. Right. Oh no, just a Dragon type. So simple as that. So this card's really good. Bust, summon after Buster Blader from your deck is great. Uh, you have plenty of Destruction Swords this card. That, 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 this. So you have plenty. And then go ahead and kind of Miracle Fusion with a trap. Unique, unique. Alright, let's go ahead and get to the extra deck. Uh, we run triple of the Dragon Buster Destroyer. Uh, this guy is really good as long as your opponent has monsters, especially with your fusion. And he gates all dragons to effect, so this guy's like, hey, all your opponent's monsters are dragons. He's like, hey, this isn't gates the effect of dragons. So that's great. Uh, inflicts piercing damage, gains a thousand attack for each dragon your opponent controls or in their graveyard. So, really beefy. The only thing that sucks is he can't attack directly. You probably could attack you like, where's the Regeki? I uh, decided not to play Regeki because it kind of fucks with him. It's kind of like, I Regeki you, now you have no monsters. There's been a handful of duels where I just sit here with the fusion guy and do nothing. Because I can't attack my opponent directly. It really does suck. It really does. So, uh, yeah, but, you know, all your opponent's monsters would become dragons with this guy in the field. This guy's like, hey, all, all dragons are stuck in defense position and their effects are negated. And you pretty much just fuck up your opponent. So it's great. Then you equip him with uh, this guy. says that you can't, your opponent can't summon from the extra deck and he's just winning. Uh, we run one big eye because lots of level seven, so make a big eye. We run flare, lots of level seven, burn your opponent for game. Uh, we can actually make this. Odd Eyes Rebellion Dragon. So, of course, he is made with, uh, two level seven dragon monsters. And, uh, if he's made with a, uh, extra deck dragon XC monster, then he gets his bonus effect. So, like I said, lots of sevens. You go ahead and summon three level sevens. You can make flare. Then, if he's in Pendulum Scale, which generally he will be, uh, you can target one face of XC monster you control and use that as uh, XC materials, XC summoned rank ranks as levels. So he the flare would become level 7. And then that other uh, uh, level 7 dragon, which I don't know where it's at. I accidentally took it out. I'm an idiot. Yeah, there was odd ice in here. So I can't really make this. I'm an idiot. Well, if you put odd eyes in, you can. So, more power to you. Put eyes and then you can make it. I forgot. There's two level 7 dragons, not just two level 7s. But yeah, you could do it with odd eyes. Then make it with flare or uh, uh, absolute. You know, all I place that I could probably just take this out. I'm an idiot. So, uh, yeah. I don't know. Throw in like an absolute and throw in like a, uh, a vortex. There you go. Uh, one abyss because you can actually do. Uh, him with one of your tuners to make Abyss. Uh, Trish, you can kind of make it. Uh, used to be make it, able to make it more often with Insight, because Insight, Pop Insight, it put something, Insight, Pop, pop Insight, get something. How to summon the two Insights, summon level 1 tuner, Trish, but now you pretty much have to go Skull Curve by Joker with Insight and then level 1 tuner. So it's not the most consistent thing to do, but if you pull it off, it's not to have him. I had room in the extra deck, so I was like, sure, Trish. Uh, two of the Burst Dragons, I already explained what he does. Uh, Pun Spots will become Dragons. Go ahead, if you don't have a Buster Blader, uh, you control, you summon one from your graveyard. And then, during your opponent's turn, you can equip one Buster Blader with one Destruction uh, Sword Monsters in your graveyard. So, you can go ahead and bust out the Buster Blader, so you can be like, Alright, summon Buster Blader, equip with this, unequip it, sync into this, this will summon back Buster Blader. Then next turn, this will go off and equip Buster Blader with this from the graveyard. And then your opponent can't special from there, so really nice. Uh, one builds because this is a Dark Tutor, so, Dark Tutor... Uh, level 7 bills. Uh, Scar right. Go to level 8. Stardust, just in case I push for game. I don't want to get Mirror Forced or Dark Hold or Regeki. Ignis Because it's that can do it. Because these are level 7 Pendulum Monsters plus a Tuner. Ignis I only ran one anyway, so despite getting hit down the one, it didn't phase me. And then Armadies, because we have some level 4s plus a level 1 Tuner. Armadies. So, there you go, people. There is the Buster Blair deck profile. So, if you haven't checked out me attempting to do something with Nordics, uh, be sure to. Uh, so thank you guys for all the support for this deck on Buster Players. It, it was a fine two months. Uh, so thanks for watching. Thanks for the support. I will see you guys tomorrow with another deck profile and another deck uh, joining the Daily Duels lineup for the next upcoming month. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching.